the early 1980s, bodyguards in their 535s couldn't keep up with the Turbo 7 series that transported BMW boss Eberhard von Kuhnheim. So they asked for something special from M. This was a time of political tension and a high profile CEO needed protection that could keep up. So the M1 engine made its way into the 5 series as a clandestine bit of engineering. It's a concept that's as simple as it is brilliant. Take your most practical, comfortable and popular car and give it your best, most fire breathing engine, the 3.5 liter straight six. Then tweak the suspension to cope with the extra power and adjust the styling a little bit, but just a bit. That's the key when it comes to the original, the first super saloon. It's a car for the driver to enjoy without anyone else really knowing. It's an inherently selfish experience. Swapping the Kugelfischer fuel injection for a Bosch Motronic system, the power output was increased by around 10 horsepower over the M1. The M5's final figures were 286 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. That rivaled a contemporary Ferrari 328, which only had 270 horsepower. But the M5 could carry four adults in comfort and provide the same kind of thrills out on the road. What started off as a small-scale engineering experiment actually started to sell quite well. So well, in fact, that American M5 buyers sued BMW for making too many. They originally said production would be strictly limited to 500 examples. BMW actually made 1,200, and owners were angry at the reduction in collector's value. So the class action suit was settled with a $4,000 credit for owners. Nowadays, they make a whole lot more of them, and super saloons have close to 600 horsepower, aero fins, double clutch transmissions, and turbo engines with flatulent exhausts. And that's what makes the purity and simple formula of the original M5 so appealing. Buy an M1, park it on the street, and you'll draw a crowd. Park an E28 M5 nearby, and they'll walk straight past it. That's the appeal. And if it's good enough for BMW's bodyguards, it should be good enough for anyone. <laughs>